Welcome to this week's episode. Back to normal, back at work. No more trips, not for a while anyway. Um, so yeah, look, uh, buy merch, merch. I'm a lot of parts merch. Anyway, what have we been working on this week? See, I'll tell you. you. Once you enter the workshop, you get, you get a beer. I get See? a beer, look, I get a beer. Beer, beer. assistant. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna walk out here, turn the camera around and make Craig tell you me, tell me, tell you, tell everyone what he's been working on. Well, as you can see, the uh, the FJ has been moved in here and we had to give it a wash. So we shifted the Suzuki? We moved this Suzuki, the JDM still car. Started. So it still starts and runs. We've ordered some Wii Fender flares to yeah. do that. Little tiny ones. You're sounding Scottish. Yeah. Just because you did a Scotland trip, you're That's like it. all Wii Yokai Haggis. Haggis, hiya. Yeah, hiya. Hiya. <laughs> hiya. All right. What have we been working on here? This, this is a cute beauty, isn't it? Hello, Gav. Hello, Hello John. Got a new what? motor. Got a new motor. Got a new motor. Yeah. This is a 42 coupe U. Chef coupe U. Um, came to us. Gas has already been done. Basically, the body was looking like this. Half the floor was in. So we've done the firewall, front floor, and the hump so that it lifts the shifter up into a better position. Waiting on a column drop so I can finish off the column part. Uh, what did we do then? Oh, then I started doing this back section because it already had a fuel tank in it. So you can see the fuel tank is in here underneath that cardboard. So that has to be removed from inside. Um, so, and, and the, the customer wanted more room inside the cab than in the tray because I'll use this for a bit of traveling. And you can actually see where the seat would have, or the back of the firewall would have been in that original spot what there. That's what we are. Well, we're 600 mil two, back, foot, two, foot back. <laughs> two foot back. So basically I've sort of worked that out. I've, I've done the edges. I've, we picked up another sheet of steel today. So I've got to do this section here. So that'll sort of roll around like that. Just like that. Like that. Just like that. Then it had an original, or I don't know whether it's an original tailgate or whether it's a, someone's made it as a tailgate, but it possibly was. So it was this frame and had some skins on it. The problem is it didn't fit the opening. <laughs> so it wasn't quite there. So anyway, I put all the skin off, redid the hinges so that it actually fit into the opening. Then the customer supplied a late model Toyota tailgate um, so that I could use this section here, which is going to go in here, plus the latches, plus the stays. So then I had to recess the latches in here and section them to fit in between the gap between here and there and blah, blah, blah. So anyway, so basically that is like that. And then what we'll do is we'll have a handle on here so then that, that will push like that and then that'll come down like that. Fancy. See? Just like if you say it fast. So then I've got to get all this part done. This is too short so I've got to bring that down to there and then re-skin it again. And, and then, then I don't know, I'll see if that skin's all right it, it'll go back on. If not, well then we'll just do another skin. So it's pretty basic skin, it's pretty flat. So. Yeah. Cool. And Don and Rose pick up our side of pulling that apart that's now ready, it's done second inspection. It's now ready to, um, yeah, start pulling apart, doing body work, finish off all the little bits and pieces. It'll go out paint and then start going back together. So, that's, yeah, really, that's about it. I mean, this has been quite time consuming, but is what it is. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, that's it. I mean, it didn't. He wanted the hinges hidden as well. He didn't want chains hanging yeah. on the outside. Yeah, the chain, because normally these would have had chains here and flop and... Scratch the paint and everything like that. So... Get in the way. No, it's just turned out all right. So, yeah, that's probably it for this, but for the that, up, update. I don't that's know, about did you it. tell him that we did the engine mounts in the DeLorean? Maybe. Oh, we did the engine mounts in the DeLorean. Oh, yes, we did. I think we did that a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> did we? didn't we? Okay. Yeah, I, I, no, I don't think we did. No, no you were probably go. away. No, I was away. Yeah. So hang on, let's go over here. So, here mount and here box mount. so I think we sat in front of it and maybe talked it. Yeah, we've actually done 
So the engine is basically now all mounted in the DeLorean, which got a weight on the manifolds. Yeah, yeah, that's what we, yeah, we need, um, like factory style headers for a Commodore V6, but they need to be with the three equal distant ports, mm. right? So we borrowed a set, because we don't, we don't know what the engine's out of, even the owner doesn't know what the engine's out of. And yeah, someone exactly. mentors some, but they're not the right ones. You can see yeah. they're not equal, so they didn't work. But if I can get a set of factory ones that are equal, I just want to see whether it works, because we're going to have to basically reverse it so that, well, no, actually, it's not reversing it. It's leaving it the same way as in the Commodore, so the exhaust will go Point back there, there do a 180, come back this way to a muffler, the mufflers down there. front of the engine, yeah. at the back. So, so I just want to borrow a set of manifolds, if anybody's got any, just to try and see whether that's what we want. If it is, well, then we'll buy some, but we don't know whether that's what's actually going to work I mean, or not. We think, and we should know, but we're not, it's modern stuff, so we don't really do it. Yeah. We think it's like VZ Commodore, VX. But the VZ. main thing is, it's got to be equal distant ports, and these yeah. ones aren't equal distant, so yeah. it's not the right one. Like these ones here. That if we fitted them, we'd, we'd kind of look like a, a well, ski boat. Well, I was thinking boat. that, you know, like really, what we should actually do is, and the owner was quite happy with this. Like if we went like that, that would be cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's happy with it. I'm not I don't sure think the engineer is very happy with it though. No. So, if yeah. you've got manifolds that we can borrow, let us know. Okay. That's and it. I think that's it. And that's I really this week. Should do something with that one day. Next week. We really should do something on the Morris too to get the brakes working. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the do. Morris is haunted. Oh yeah, the lights. With the on. rain we've had the other day, I come into work yesterday, and the lights were flashing on the. It's got LED lights in the grill, and they were flashing, but it wasn't turned on. So I mucked around with the switch, and they went off. So I come back in again this morning. They were on again this morning. So I don't know what's going on. So I've disconnected the battery. Yeah, so, okay. If they're on tomorrow and the battery's, and the battery's disconnected, we know there's a problem with the Morris. Yeah. It's haunted. <laughs> it's, it's a big problem. Uh, yeah. But right. other than that... That's it. We'll do it all again next week. Same shit, different day, different car. See ya. Yeah. Oh, and, and to, <laughs> we had someone, we went to Sydney on the weekend, to a Sydney show, to promote the tours. Yes. And some bloke come up and says, I nearly didn't recognise you without a beer in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Because we were drinking it. coffee. We we're drinking coffee. And he coffee. says, oh, <laughs> he didn't know whether it was us or not because we didn't have beers. So anyway, we don't drink a lot. No. But it's just that when you seem to be looking, we're drinking. It's not my fault. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. See ya. See ya. All right. That's it for this week's video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit notifications, all that sort of stuff. Um, one last thing. We've got a little video I'm going to do. I'm going to show you over here. It was a, it's a Holden Grey Motor cutaway that... Craig, Craig got it somewhere. It's been sitting at the back for years. We kind of never done anything with it, even though we said we were going to. But anyway, one of our customers, um, John, kind of restored it for us, got it all working. So here's just a little video of it running. See you next video. Oh yeah, see so you got the cam on this side, hang on. You can see the cam and the lifters. Mm.